Oh, I Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Want to go on a walk? Let's go on a walk. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I know. Okay. This way. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Good job. Good job. Okay. Good job. Just take your time, crazy butt. Good job, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> hey. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today, <coughs> we still look like we're camping. We are. We're, we've been wearing the same clothes for like... 10 days? Five <laughs> days. I think it's been like 10 days. But we went and got like a change of them. Yeah. Anyway, we oh, feel wow. real gross. So we'll update you later on what's happening with the house, but it's been kind of frustrating. So um, anyway, we are moving. We have to be out of our apartment tomorrow morning. AKA today, because tomorrow morning we don't have time to do it. So mm -hmm. um, last night we pretty much packed everything. My mom and my grandma helped me, he helped a little bit. Um, and then today <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get the U-Haul and him and his friend Colton are going to put everything in there. Since I packed all the boxes, they're gonna put everything in the U-Haul, the hard work. And we have stairs, so that sucks. So that's gonna suck, but that's what we're doing. We're gonna go walk the boy. Um, my cousin's in town right now, and he's about to leave, so we're going to breakfast with my family, and then getting the U-Haul. Are you ready, Finny? Ready? He's so cute. <laughs> Just got home from Brecky. It was good. Mm -hmm. I had an omelet. He had, uh, what'd you have? I had stuffed French toast. Okay. Let's go get our baby. Hi, cutie. Hi. Come here. Let's go see daddy. Come on, let's go see daddy. Go get him, come on, go. Go get daddy. Go get daddy, downstairs. Look. Hi. <laughs> Aww. Hi. Don't pee. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, let's go potty, come good on. boy. Come on, come honey, on. let's go. Come on. Come, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it, come on, come on. Good let's job, go. baby. You Good boy! Come fun! Yay! Good job. <laughs> okay, let's go potty. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go pee! Go potty! Go! Go! Let's go! Let's go potty! Let's go potty! Let's go potty! Good boy! <clears throat> Watch right over there. The corner spot. That's his place. Good boy. <laughs> Here, let's play a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> Hi, honey. Get it. Get it. you guys last I took a shower um, I've been working on my computer for a little bit so that boy down there is just playing um, Garrett went to a showing it's 1 30 and um, at 3 o'clock we're meeting back at the apartment we got the u-haul it's at the apartment and we're gonna start loading everything up and then cleaning the apartment tonight so busy 
Um, and then tomorrow morning I have to bring the trailer to my friend's house because I have nowhere else to keep it. Um, so it's staying there hopefully only for a couple days and hopefully we close in the next couple days. If you can't tell, we're exhausted. Garrett and I feel like we're camping because we just are living in like the same clothes I've been wearing for the past couple days. It's really gross, but we don't really have another option and we're like living out of tiny bags. Um, all of our stuff's about to be packed up in a in a U-Haul and then my trailer is going to be at someone else's house. The U-Haul is going to be at someone else's house because there's no room where we're staying right now and we don't have a house. So our life's a mess, but we're trying to figure it out. Uh, I can't wait till this is all over. Leave it. Ready to go somewhere? Should we take a toy with us? Where's all your good toys? Come on. Looking kind of rough today, but I think I need to get out of the house before we go back to the apartment. And um, we are getting rid of a lot of clothes. So I think I am going to go bring those and donate them. Bring Finn with me. Hello? Hey. Hi. So I just got off the phone with, I got some good news and I got some bad news. What do you want to hear first? Ugh, the bad news. Mostly a good thing. Um, we've just been having issues with closing the house. <sighs> Not really issues, just we've been having some holdbacks and it's been frustrating. Um, also putting us in a weird position where we're technically homeless for a few days, um, but that's all right. So we, he said the update is that um, they should be sending it off to the underwriters or something. I actually don't know. I'm not a realtor, so I'm not really sure how it all works. He could explain it better. But basically, whatever's happening with the papers or whatever, um, we should be able to hopefully get early occupancy starting Wednesday. Today is Monday. Um, so we have to be out of our apartment by tomorrow morning, AKA today, so we're moving everything out of it today. Um, and then for a couple days, U-Haul and the trailer will be at someone else's house. And then hopefully we can move in Wednesday. That's not even like a for sure thing. So I still kind of have anxiety about that, but hopefully we can do that. Um, if that is the case, then we get to, oh my gosh, this guy has three dogs. That is just the dream right there. That's so cute. Um, anyway, we should be able to move in this week. <laughs> but we're supposed to be leaving town Thursday. We were gonna leave town Thursday and be gone till Sunday, so just terrible timing for us. But we'll figure it out. Um, it's for a wedding, so I think we might leave Friday. I think that's my husband. Yep, okay, gotta go. hyped up on Red Bull right now. I am not. <laughs> Three minute synopsis, so <laughs> I can't say that. We have sent all the remaining items to the lender. Requested a couple more items from us, some bank oh, statements, shit. a letter. Is awaiting underwritten approval, meaning that is the last thing that they need to do in order to send out the closing documents. One, we, once we send out the closing documents, we can sign and close on the house. So, Hold on. Can you tell them how long we've been waiting though? You're like, okay, we've pushed past... it back. We've pushed it back two weeks. That's or... why we're literally homeless right now. 
this wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not supposed to happen, but it is common. We have sent them everything. That's where we're at right now. It's Monday. Um, <gasps> Our underwriter left town and didn't tell anyone. There's a lot of little facts. The underwriter for the East Coast um, company was out of town for three days last week and nobody from their company notified people from our lender here locally. So that was the disconnect, that's why we were stagnant. The person that did take over the file while the underwriter was gone, uh, apparently they misplaced some of our statements and they filed things incorrectly uh, because apparently it was, just a, it was just an office person, like an admin or something like that. They didn't have any idea about the file at all. So they, um, pretty much just put us a little bit backwards instead of forwards. So now we're making up time on Monday and trying to do all this stuff on Monday. Buying a house is stressful. I don't know how much to say on here, but like our landlords let us stay in the place we're at now, but we're still getting kicked out essentially before our house is ready. We're staying with his mom. And then previously before all this house stuff was happening, uh, there was gonna be someone, a client staying there. And so then essentially we'd be kicked out and not have anywhere else to go. Um, but I don't think that's happening anymore. The timing ended up being okay, but for this past week we've been extremely overwhelmed and stressed about where we're gonna go, where our stuff's gonna go, the trailer's gonna go, our dog's gonna go. Um, it's just been a lot, so. It's been a lot. We're gonna look back at this at a later date and laugh at it, but right now it's pretty emotional and it's pretty stressful. Not to mention I have three transactions in escrow that are all kind of uh, doing similar things as far as pushing back the closing, getting documents, um, getting appraisals signed off, stuff like that. But it's definitely just taking a toll on... <laughs> Please don't put that in. <laughs> I like said it, but my mouth didn't say <laughs> that's the like O. The only thing that's made me laugh in the past week. My mouth didn't let me say oh the my O. God. It was like, <laughs> it just there's no O in there. But <laughs> it's taken a toll on both of us and our relationship. Uh, what? What uh, do you mean? What? No, we're just stressed. Oh. It's taken a toll, definitely. We're getting a coffee for her. I'm dying. She needs some caffeine, <sighs> and then Packing we're heading. Heading back to the house, packing up the U-Haul. I'm gonna give you guys some sick time lapse of just that. Just a lot of. Basically, the boys doing all the work and me directing them. Just a lot of B-roll. We got pretty much everything down, mostly. I'm gonna clean in here, sweep 
vacuum and the boys are putting everything in the truck right now. Everything moved out of our apartment. Oh. So empty. Oh yeah. 